I've been hiking up this canyon, uh, following this creek. It's been really nice. I've just left the creek and I was getting dive bombed by this like bug. I didn't know what it was, but it just stung me on the forehead. I don't know if there's, it stung me like right here and then it stung me on the neck. Freaking hurts. So that's great. You can't, you definitely can't see it, but like in the bushes, as I'm like about to get up to get my final water to go hike the next 12 mile waterless stretch, I see a snake like six feet away from me, <laughs> slithering into the bushes right behind me. And now it's coiled up three feet from where I was, from where I was sitting down. Kind of scary. Right after like, what, 30 minutes after getting stung by a bee. Fantastic. I don't know if I've ever seen this before, but you can see where a snake has crossed the road. How wild is that? <laughs> Which direction it was going, I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, interesting day for snakes. <laughs> section though I remember from 2018 where for maybe 10 plus miles you're just hiking down the middle of this canyon and it's really beautiful there's a river below you you kind of have the walls of the canyon to provide shade and it's actually leading up to the Deep Creek Hot Springs, which is a clothing optional hot springs. <laughs> Unfortunately, today is a Friday and I expect it to be quite busy there, so I think I'm just going to keep on moving. But I'm feeling great. I had just crossed the 300 mile marker. I'm averaging about 30 miles a day. And yeah, the trail has been very good to me so far.
counting every hiker I pass um, as I go. So it'll be really interesting to see the numbers at the end. But I'd say every day I pass about 20 people. The most people I ever passed in a day was over 40. But in the first 300 miles, I've seen about 250 people. These numbers are a bit skewed because I'm hiking quickly. It is very interesting seeing the spaces in between. More than half a day or so, I won't see anyone. Then all of a sudden I'll turn a corner and there's gonna be a group of like 15 people. You know, without doing that extra five to 10 miles a day, they don't catch the group ahead of them and the group behind them doesn't catch them. So I've met a couple people who have said that for two days, they haven't seen anyone. <laughs> it's just kind of the way the trail goes. Snakes scare the crap out of me. It's like two feet off trail. And then it kind of jumped and I jumped. <laughs> okay, third rattlesnake so far. Um, I've seen quite a few non-venomous snakes, but that was a good looking one. Not too big. Um, yeah, cool. So you can see way down there, this little highway. That's where the McDonald's was. And then I went up and over these mountains and now I'm so far above them it is hard to even register how much I've climbed since then. But it's been a super chill climb and I'm feeling great. I'm about 30 miles into my day right now and trying to set myself up for an easy day into town tomorrow. So, the hiking's been good today.
Mile 400. It's uh, day 14. Still feeling good and really loving the trail. Looking forward to what's coming up next. So mile 400. A friend asked me recently if there's been any particular highlights of the trail for me. Anything that really stood out as like, you know, the best moment or the best day or the worst of anything. And I honestly don't really think there's been anything in particular. I'm 400 miles in now and just the, the thing I've been enjoying the most is just being out here every day and walking endlessly into the evenings and waking up early and just starting walking. <laughs> you know, as much as I love the views and the, the varied terrain and the landscape and everything along those lines, I, I think there's just something so rhythmic and therapeutic about um, walking from 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. every day. It is kind of that, that challenge and that rhythm that keeps me coming back every year, sometimes multiple times a year.